Turkey reveals more details for Barbaros Frigate Blue. The Turkish Presidency of Defense Industries SSB, has published further details of the midlife upgrade Mlu, being undertaken for the country's MECO 200 track IIAE Barbaros class frigates. The four frigates have already completed an initial round of modernization, under which the Thal Smart SMK-2 air surface surveillance radar has replaced the BAE system's AWS-9 radar in all four ships, and the MK-29 Sea Sparrow launchers have been replaced with MK-41 vertical launch systems VLSs, in the two track IIA frigates. The second phase of the MLU is more extensive, however. Under contracts awarded to Havelson and Aselson in 2018, all existing radar, with the exception of the Smart S, the electronic warfare and sonar suites, and self-defense systems will be replaced. According to a graphic depiction of a Barbaros class frigate following the completion of its MLU, published by the SSB in January, the most obvious change to the topside layout is the new masts. A closed solid mast similar to the main mast on the Turkish Navy's Ada class corvettes will replace the old lattice mast and be fitted with the smart SMK-2 radar, relocated from its current position on the second mast, with the antennas of the Ares-2 and C electronic support measures system just below. The receiving and transmitting antennas of the Ares-2 and C electronic countermeasure and electronic attack system are located on both sides of the mast. The MARD solid state active electronically scanned array air search radar developed by Aselsen will be located at the top of a new second mast. The MARD has a reported range of 100 kilometers. Under the MLU the Turkish Navy is planning to remove the Orlikon Contraver's Sea Zenith gun mounts and Contraver's Sea Guard fire control radar. Thank you for watching my channel. This video is just an illustration. I hope you can understand it. Thank you my friend.